Pope Benedict's mission intention this month is a bit unusual. Usually he asks us to join him in praying for particular mission territories, lands where the gospel is relatively new, like Africa and parts of Asia. Or he asks us to pray for missionaries or for a greater awareness on the part of all Christians that through baptism we are joined to the body of Christ and are therefore missionaries in our own right, called to witness by word and deed to the good news of Jesus Christ. But this month, he's asking us to pray for a part of the world that we don't normally think of as mission territory. We're praying for the Western world, for Western Europe and the Western Hemisphere. We're praying that we may be open to the action of the Holy Spirit and rediscover the freshness and enthusiasm of our faith. Too often, the faith of Christians in the Western world has become stale and boring. The things of the world, the many new products and technologies, media and entertainment, the world of sports, these have become much more appealing than the Christian faith. In 2002, during a Synod of Bishops, Archbishop Charles Chaput, who is about to become the Archbishop of Philadelphia, said, quote, Today, throughout our hemisphere, many of our people have found consumer capitalism to be much more appealing than the gospel. Capitalism is a machine that works. It gets results. This is important because as our economies and cultures interlock, consumerism and the practical atheism it breeds are now common problems throughout our hemisphere. Yet, Archbishop Chaput continued, the hunger for God persists in every human heart, even when it's buried under consumer goods." End quote. Why is that, we may ask? Why does the hunger for God persist? It's because made in God's image and likeness, we're made for infinite love, for union with God, and nothing except God will ultimately satisfy that hunger. In his message for World Youth Day this year, Pope Benedict reminded us of the famous quote from St. Augustine, that we are made for God and our hearts are restless until they rest in Him. This is a truth that cannot be taken for granted, otherwise it will be forgotten and the world will pursue all kinds of substitutes for God that will take away the hunger pains for a bit, but cannot ultimately satisfy. Last June, at a meeting in Rome, Pope Benedict said the following, Faith must never be presupposed, but proposed. This is just how it is. Faith is not preserved in the world by itself. It is not automatically passed on to the human heart, but must always be proclaimed. Moreover, if the proclamation of faith is to be effective, it must stem, in turn, from a heart that believes and loves, a heart that adores Christ and believes in the power of the Holy Spirit. The response of faith is born when the person discovers, through God's grace, that believing means finding true life, full life. And then Pope Benedict went on, Dear friends, the Church, each one of us, must bring to the world this joyful news that Jesus is Lord, the one in whom God's closeness and love for every individual man and woman and for humanity in its entirety was made flesh. This proclamation must ring out anew in the regions that have an ancient Christian tradition. Blessed John Paul II spoke of the need for a new evangelization addressed to all those who, although they have heard talk of the faith, no longer appreciate, no longer know the beauty of Christianity. On the contrary, at times they even view it as an obstacle to achieving happiness. Therefore, today, I would like to repeat what I said to the young people at the World Youth Day in Cologne. The happiness you are seeking, the happiness you have a right to enjoy, has a name and a face. It is Jesus of Nazareth hidden in the Eucharist. And then Pope Benedict asked, Should we not today, too, show the beauty and reasonableness of faith? Carry God's light to the people of our time with courage, with conviction, with joy? As we pray for Pope Benedict's mission intention this month, we listen to his challenging question. We want to respond, yes, yes, I want to show the beauty and reasonableness of faith and carry God's light to the people of our time. Come, Holy Spirit, give me the courage, the conviction, and the joy 
to help all of us Western Christians do this in a convincing way. Amen.